here's the Lansky knife sharpening set that I'm going to use today. And we can see the contents of it. These stones range from coarse to fine. So this is what holds your blade. And this is what cleans your sharpening stones. All right, so let me show you how to set these up. This is my course. I'm taking these out of the box. All I'm going to do is put this in here, like so. And I'm just going to lay it down flat. Kind of let gravity do its thing. Straighten it up. Make sure I'm all flat and good there. And then I'll tighten it up. I'll do that for all of them. This holds your knife. Uh, it clamps down right in between here. And it's uh, it works really nicely in your hand, but it also you can purchase a little C clamp that can go on the side of a desk and clamp on here that has a pin that goes up through this hole and it'll kind of hold it in place for you if you wanted to have it stable. Um, I'll put a link to it in the description, but I generally just use this with my hand and I clamp it. I set this screw here based on the width of my the thickness of my blade so for instance if I'm gonna do a thinner blade like this I'll set the thickness on this a little bit I'll put the screw in a little bit more and then when I put my blade in here right about like that right, then I'll clamp down using this screw So I'll put about mm, this much on. If I put it down too far near the blade, then uh, at a sharper angle, which is what I generally like to use, the 30 here, uh, I can run into it. So I keep it back near the back of the blade here. So then I can really tighten this red thing down here. And that sets it up for use. Now, if I'm using a thicker blade, let me show you that. Like I said, I'll back out the screw just a little bit here. And I can just do that with my finger. Just back that out just a teeny bit. And then, for instance, this, this blade has a much thicker edge on it. I can use this red to clamp it down real nice and tight. And then I've got a good hold on it. When you're you're holding it like this in your hand while you're sharpening away from you. And then when I flip it over the same technique. I'm holding it here, kind of just resting the knife on me, and I'm pushing it away from me again. Now, uh, you'll notice that up here in the tip of this, some some people will will actually make sure that they hold against here to keep that side from shifting at all. But generally I find that the force of this, I don't I can just keep my hand on here and my uh, angle stays just right. It doesn't shift up here in the corner. So for cleaning these, um, what you'll what'll happen is as you sharpen, and I'll just show you an example here. As you sharpen these blades. The shavings start to come off and you can see the shavings starting to come off on here see the coloration the metal okay so what I can do to clean it is I can take this honing oil and put it on here just a little bit and I can just rub it with my finger and it kind of pulls it out of the crevices pulls it all out of there 
and I can just take a rag and sop it up. So now my stone is back to clean and it will do its job to sharpen that blade better.
Thanks for watching.